Hello, everybody. My name is Larry. My call sign is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Welcome to your solar weather update here for the 24th day of October 2022. Here's your A1A, and this is where the beginning of the good starts to come. We're starting to see on the left side of this A1A some pretty bright areas. Look at 10 o'clock. You're seeing some areas here, and you're also seeing just a little bit of a halo there around 9, no, about 830 on the sun. There's going to be two levels of sunspots heading our way this week, which should pump up our SFI for a good weekend for CQ Worldwide SSB. Here is a look at the backside of the sun. This is just a very small portion of the backside off of that crescent, off the east limb there. You see that little squared area. That's the next sunspot region coming our way. And we do have a, a little bit of a solar wind issue today as well, but we'll get into that in a moment. Magnetosphere view, this is if we could take all of the brightness from the sun away and just focus on those sunspots. Here are the sunspots where they're at. Northern and Southern Hemisphere, the closer they get to the North and the closer they are to the Southern Hemisphere, the faster they move around the Sun. Let's take a look at this progression of the last week here of sunspot progressions as we're at today. Now, again, the good news here is right here in the A1A. There's more sunspots coming, and they'll be in the Northern Hemisphere first, then on the Southern Hemisphere for the coming weekend. The solar flare detection... You see it kind of bottoming out there on Saturday, and then we've kind of stayed stable, but we're getting a little bit of a bump now. That should be a stability in SFI now and a bump coming up by Wednesday. Current SFI, 108, sunspot number is 65, that's up 10. Area number is at 90, that's down 20. Your KP index, this is great news, been very noisy Saturday and Sunday on the bands, now quiet. It will remain this way through Wednesday. The three-day geomagnetic forecast, you see, this is what's happening. We're going to go down in noise floor, and hopefully this will continue through the weekend, which will give us excellent conditions for CQ Worldwide sideband composition, that contest. Phew, woo, that's a mouthful. SFI, currently QRZ 108, sunspot number, they show is 46. That elevated A index of 16 is due to the sunspot regions that are right around the coronal hole area, which is right here at 34. You see the two bright areas to the north of 34. There's one to the top and one just a little bit off of the left side of that. And if you look at the magnetosphere view, that would be sunspot number 3126 and 3127. They're literally going through that coronal hole right there. And that's elevating everything, including our solar wind and our A index. Current A index, A at 16, we want it below 10 for better conditions. The K index, this is the quietest been all week, K1. That's S0 to S1 noise floor, and that's brilliant. BZ latitude. Now, according to QRZ, minus 1.8, we want this to be a positive number, and it will get positive as the day goes on. From Space Weather Live, they show positive 3.04, but they also show a dip into the negative territory and back up by 1900 UTC. So we will have a positive condition coming our way. The HF conditions there, I believe we do much better than that today around the world. This would be as far north as probably around uh, 60 degrees north, as far south as about 60 degrees south. Well, not quite that far south. It's about 50 degrees south. You'll get everything, literally 2017, 15, 12, and the 10 meter Man, here are the his current Kilo, Chulo, uh, Kilo Charlie 2 golf map. So I'm in a hurry here to produce this and get my brother to a medical appointment. Let's get really through this quick. 19 megahertz up in Fairbanks, 20 if you're in Anchorage, 33 Southern California. Look at that, 32 if you're in Brownsville, Texas, 29 Panhandle, Florida, 32 in DC, 28 New England. 30 in the Great Lakes. There's 10 meters. It's pushing north. It will continue to push north. Give folks in Canada a good afternoon of 10 meters and look at the pipeline into South America. It's absolutely brilliant today. And the SFI is high enough to still permit some good 10 meter calls. 10 meters all throughout South America right now. And that's the way it was earlier today in Europe and Africa. The 10 meter band is far north as southern Sweden and southern Norway. Now currently 18 megahertz if you're in Great Britain, 16 France, 15 in uh, Spain, 
14 in Portugal, 17 Sicily, 17 as well in Greece. Heading towards the Far East, 14 megahertz, so the 20-meter band in parts of Japan. 16 megahertz currently in Brisbane as you head south towards Sydney. You're at 11 megahertz, but you're still going to have great conditions. 9 megahertz currently in Tasmania, but that 10-meter band is coming. It will hit through the southern island of New Zealand and also capture the area in Tasmania as well. It's going to be a great, great afternoon of 10 meters, not only in northern Canada, but also in the south, in New Zealand and Australia. Your ham and shortwave forecast for today, powered by ICOM. I come for the love of ham radio. SFI to remain stable through Tuesday. That's good. Now, we might see a little drop by one or two or a jump by one or two, but it's not going to be a big movement today. Tomorrow, I think we're going to start seeing an improvement in our SFI. Voice bands, Northern Hemisphere during the daytime, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. Equatorial latitudes, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. Same for the Southern Hemisphere today. CB radio skip at 11 meters will have some uh, openings good in the afternoon. So good DX openings for 11 meters in the afternoon in the northern countries here in North America. So some good CB skip if you want to work it. If you've got uh, data modes, FT8, FT4, it's a wonderful day to work those as well. And they will go far enough today with this SFI. Shortwave listeners, your shortwave daytime bands, 31, 25, 22 in the 19 meter band. The money bands today, the good bands that are really clear and working well, 25, 22, and 19. They're beautiful right now. Good, good for DX. Nighttime short wave bands. Noise floor is quieting tonight to S0 to S1. That's basically nil for a noise floor tonight. And that will continue at times through tomorrow. We may go up to an S1, S2, but we aren't going to get really loud on either the ham or short wave bands. Nighttime short wave tonight. 120, 90, 75, 60, 49, 41, 31, 25, 22. And the 19 meter band will sound very well in the southern hemisphere about 90 minutes after sunset and the signals will fade away. It's going to be a good day to work either your amateur radio or your shortwave radio. For CQ Worldwide this weekend, still looking like we might get an SF5 around 125. We'll see if it holds true. I'll see you guys soon. We can do a full Ham Radio Live show. I do want to remind you, I've got somebody really special coming to Ham Radio Live, the, the regular show here on on the, on the YouTube, the one you've all gotten used to. And I thought, yeah, there, there we go. There's a picture. Martin F. Jew joins us live this Thursday at 1900 UTC. Mr. MFJ celebrating his 50th year in business at MFJ. We're honored to have him. We hope you join us. 1900 UTC for that show. Noon Pacific, 3 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone, 8 a. Sorry, 8 p.m. in London. And I know it's a little early there, about 5 a.m. in Eastern Australia, but we'd love for you to join us. Until we meet again, God bless you. Thanks for watching this weather segment. Goodbye, everybody.